I want to make sure that you're completely familiar with the, just the normal organization of the kidney, or really just any organ. The medulla will be the inner aspect, the pulp of the kidney or, or the organ, and the cortex will be the outer aspect. So the medulla has interesting structures in it that you also want to pay attention to. The medulla, the inner aspect. The medulla contains the pelvis, it has the calluses, and it has something that we will take a look at called the papilla. We then go into the arc. The arc is the arch over the pyramid, and it gives rise to your cortical radiate arteries. And the cortical radiate arteries, well, technically called interlobular. Ultimately, all of this is going to give rise to afferent arterial. You stop there for one second. Why? Because the afferent arterial, as you know in physiology, is incredibly important. The afferent arterial is about to arrive to whom? A, afferent, is about to A, arrive at which organ? The glomerulus. What is it? An afferent arteriola. You pay attention to that term versus renal artery. Why? Because as we move forward and we start getting to renal vascular diseases, we are going to plug in pathologies into the renal artery. For example, atherosclerosis, fibromuscular dysplasia.